Hi, let us understand how to create a policy and attach a policy to a token. For understanding purpose, I am going to create a policy with the following rule. That is, within the secret engine, my secret path, I am going to allow the permission create and update to all the path. And within my secret path, only for the path for view only, I am going to give only the capability read. So this is the policy I am going to create. I will be adding this particular policy detail into a HCOP configuration language file. So the file will have the extension .hcl. Let me create the file. I have created the HCL configuration file and don't worry about the formatting. We do have a small utility called FMT within policy that will take care of validating as well as formatting the policy. In case if the syntax or anything is not correct, it's going to give the error message. I can execute the FMT command using vault policy format and then the HCL file. So it's going to format and validate. Yes, it's success. Now I'm going to create a policy using this particular policy file. And as I mentioned earlier, don't worry about the content as well as the commands. I will be uploading all the corresponding content and file as a part of each and every lecture. Let me write the policy with the name my secret path underscore my policy. It's going to read this particular HCL file from the current directory. In case if it is available in a different directory, I can give absolute or relative path as well. The policy will get written. Now I can list what are all the policies available within the system using the command vault policy. That will list different type of policies available within the system. As we discussed earlier, by default, it is going to create a root policy for the root token and another default policy. Now I can read what are all the capabilities that particular policy will be having. I can read the my secret path policy with the command vault policy read and then the name of the policy. So these are all the capabilities it has. For better understanding, I can read the default as well as the root policy. Default, it's going to have these policies. These are all the policies that are required for any token that gets created. It should have capability to work on its own token. So the default policy will be having those particular capabilities. Now let us create the secret engine in the location my secret path because that is the path that we had mentioned within our policy. So I'm going to create a secret engine in this particular path of type key value version two. So I will enable a secret engine in this particular path, my secret path of type key value secret engine. Let me list the secret engine that got created using the command vault secrets list. So I do have my secret path and within this, I will be in a position to create anything and update anything in the path and only within this particular folder for view only, I will have read capability for the tokens that are attached to this particular policy. Now I am operating with the root token. Let me create a token and attach this particular policy to that specific token. And we will be having detailed discussion about the tokens later point of time. This is a very basic command on how to create the token. More about token, we will be discussing it later. So I'm going to create a token and attach this particular policy to the created token. So I have got the token and it will be having details about the duration and whether it is renewable or not, what are all the policies that got attached to it. Don't worry about these details at this point of time. Now let me log in to the system using this particular token. Vault token and then the token that got created. Yes, I have logged in and it's going to provide the details on the policies that are attached to this particular token. And in case if you had created it very long back, it's going to have this particular duration. In case if it is expired, you may end up creating another token. Now let me try different options. That is within my secret path, I'm going to add a key value pair within some location. Let me put a secret with the key DB host name and some value in the path, some location within my secret path. Since it is having create and update permission, it should get created. Yes, version one got created. 
Now within the path for view only, I'm going to create a key and we don't have create permission. So it should give error message. I do not have the permission. So it's getting the error message with the error code 403 permission denied because within my secret path and anything within for view only will have read only permission. That's what we had as a part of the policy. So within for view only, we do have read only capability. Now let's log in back using the root token. I have logged in with the root token and root token duration is infinite. It will not get expired. And I do have the root policy that is attached. Now with the root token, let me create some data within some location. Yes, I am able to create and version 2 got created. Now let me try the same thing within for view only path. Root will have permission in all the location, all the path by default. So it's able to create the first version. Now I am going to log in back with the token that I had created. Yes, I have logged in. Now let me check whether I do have the read permission. First I am going to test in some location whether I am able to get the keys or not. I am not able to get it. The reason because we do not have read permission. Now let me try it for the path for view only. Yes, I am able to read the data. So as we had created the capabilities within any path, I can create or update, but I cannot read. And within this particular path, I can read and I cannot create or update. Now let me log in back as the root user and delete the policy as well as revoke the permission for that specific token. I have logged in with the root token. I'm going to delete the policy that we had created. Yes, policy is deleted and I'm going to revoke the token that we had created with the command fault token revoke and then the token ID. Yes, the token is revoked. Now let me try logging in with that specific token, whether the token exists or not. Since it is revoked, I should not be in a position to log in. I'm not able to log in and uh, got the error permission denied. To clean up the system, let me disable the secret engine that we had created in the location my secret path with the command vault secrets disable and then the secret engine name. Yes, it is disabled. I can verify it with the command vault secrets list and I do not have. So in a quick summary, we learned about how to create the policy and how to attach the created policy against a token and how the permissions going to work with a simple demo. And we revoked the created token and deleted the created policy as well.